Hi, this is Rick. Um, happy Christmas and New Year to everyone. Um, this is a video about adding ambience to a base. Um, this is Sangin Province, uh, Summer Sangin, 5x5 kilometer radius map. Um, very cool map. Uh, so this is the kind of mission and um, we start off at the Afghanistan National Army Training Center and then we get sent out to clear the bad guys, uh, fundamentalists who have taken over various towns in the area. So to make this base seem alive, I've created some uh, guys doing some karate training, a uh, group of guys that who basically come past singing and uh, a couple of guys one guy doing some work on a vehicle and we've got some guns firing and at the firing range uh, which is a little bit further down over here we've got a couple of guys shooting at some targets so I'll show you exactly how those things work um, and then we'll and then I'll go into the details of how to create it in your mission Base, uh, the mission's called Hell's Kitchen, and um, it's a bounty for eight players. Uh, single player, actually have no idea how long it would take. So I'll just go along and you can see this guy's sort of working on the vehicle, standard animation, using ambient anim. The moment if I walk up to him, before I do that, let's just get my guys out of the way. Okay. You notice they're a little bit out of sync, which is deliberate. So you don't want them to be robots. Thank you. All right, so now if we go over to this guy, he's currently doing some arbitrary thing like touching some object. Get in here. Bit of a problem because he's still actually buggering around on the vehicle. So I've set a little trigger so that when I start the engine, he turns around and walks off. And what he actually does is he kind of goes around the back of the building and then just gets deleted because I don't really want these objects taking up extra processing. So you're not going to actually see him getting deleted because more than likely you're not going to follow him. Okay, so that's the one little, a couple of little things that are, make the base interesting. You can hear the guys firing in the background. Tell my guys to stop following me. PA system. Lieutenant, initial D, Widow Maker, Stone House, Gibbo, and Patio Furniture. Please report to Major Payne at the firing range. The FNG training session is about to start. Yeah, that's my group, my FNGs. They're going to be really happy about that. <laughs> leave them to do their thing. Then we've got these uh, long range guns doing a little bit of softening the enemy. There's a slight animation issue with the uh, RHS weapon. See when they eject the shell, you get a little bit of a water splash. I'll probably fix that. 
Nice animation though. As the gun like recoils. Kind of kicks off the ground a bit. It's kind of cool. Okay, so now let's go and have a look at the firing range. Hold down Alt, click on the map, and instantly teleport, which is good. Let's get my guys out the way, because they AI. These guys really need practice. Oh, well done. Actually hit a target. <laughs> Useless individual. Oh, suddenly he's perked up. Okay, so that's what that's a little bit of animation and some ambient effects that uh, I'll show you how I do. Let's get out of here. I can find my way out. Jesus, like a maze. Okay, so we'll go back to the HQ section. Sorry, error. Okay, let's just get out of here. Alright, so let's have a look at these guys first. As a trigger, as you pass through the trigger, it starts the animation on these guys. And the animation basically looks, make sure there's a player in the trigger because we don't, um, <clears throat> we don't want just anyone to trigger this. As it stands, there is a blue guy in this, in the trigger. So we wait for the player to get into the list and then um, we spawn it. So it's in the non-scheduled environment so that we can make them slightly out of sync because um, you don't want them to look like robots. So uh, play move, that's the animation where they do some karate for each of the karate guys, which is from all, uh, one, three, five, seven, and ten. There's a minor sort of delay of fifth of a second, and then the other guys also play the animation. And then the first guy, which is car seven, says karate, which is actually a 3D sound of them shouting and generally making a noise. So that's how these dudes uh, are kicked into action and, and the animation that they play. As far as this little guy is concerned, he's working on the vehicle. Um, he is repairing the vehicle in a standing position and he's playing the ambient anim. Ambient anim is quite tricky to cancel. Um, so I use a little trigger and the trigger says, uh, wait until the engine of this track called called SOV truck. Wait until that truck's engine is on, meaning there's a player in the truck. Um, and the guy's name is Repairman. Repairman. So uh, wait until the engine's on. And then uh, terminate using uh, ambient anim terminate, which is, you'll notice the double slash over here, underscore. Uh, ambient anim uh, terminates, it terminates the am animation. We don't need to specify the animation, it'll just terminate whatever ambient anim was running. Repairman, uh, set behavior safe, because you don't want him to run off, because he's just he's just been dismissed because you started the engine. You don't want him to kind of run off like he's in a panic. So I just set the uh, speed mode and the behavior to safe, so he kind of turns around and walks off. Um, then, um, Repairman, uh, tell him to move to the um, marker position, remove repair, which just happens to be this little marker over here, remove repair. And in this marker, there is a blue force present and repairman in the list, meaning that once the repairman is in this trigger, the trigger will, this condition will be true. And then it will delete the vehicle repairman. So he gets deleted. Okay, so that's how those work. Now we'll get back, now we get on to the guys running. This is quite fun. Initially I tried a whole lot of different methods and I couldn't get it to look realistic. Um, 
at the moment they're reasonably uh, it looks reasonably realistic they're synchronized and they're running together so that's good and they don't sort of stop and start in the whole story you notice there are no, there are no paths or waypoints specified at all essentially what an animation is is uh, is a forward velocity and then and then obviously playing the animation on the object so when an object runs he's not actually running at all he's playing an animation and he's being given a forward velocity or a velocity vector so um, all we have is a little trigger um, which is currently oh this trigger is used to hide and unhide the objects so if you look here this is a show hide module a show hide module and a trigger this particular module objects in synchronized triggers very useful hide objects and a trigger attached to the object or synchronized to it with true so in other words this trigger will fire immediately it will trigger the module the module will look for a synchronized trigger uh, with objects in it this trigger is blue force present so if they're blue force present this module will hide all objects in the synchronized trigger this module is the same module except it's objects in synchronized trigger and it's show units. Also synchronized to the trigger with blue force present. And what triggers this trigger is when the units move across towards the choppers. Because you want them to be looking in this direction as the guys come running past. So they actually see and hear the effect. Um, blue force present and the player needs to be in the list. And basically it says uh, disable anim so you don't want the units to play any other animation other than the one we specify so we disable the ability to switch animations then we say whilst alive x in the array of the runners runners from 1 to 11 so alive x do the following play move that animation this animation is a running animation which is what you see so while that each of them are alive for each of those units run to 1 to 11 play this animation okay and run one who's it happens to be the guy at the front he he makes the sound march which is a remote uh, it's a 3d sound okay so Essentially, they will move at the same velocity because that animation has a, a fixed forward velocity. So as I walk into this, it unhides these objects. They all kick into their animation state. And the front guy, which is, if I can get to him, the run one, he will start the 3D sound on him. They will essentially, because I've set them to 180 degree exactly, 180 degree uh, direction they will run down this road and they'll get to here you can't turn them or make them run around in circles because then you have to switch them out of the animation change the their vector or their direction and then play the animation again and so you get a pretty dodgy sort of effect and so in this particular instance I decided well it's really just an animation uh, ambient animation so you know you're not going to really can be concerned about the fact that they just kind of disappear into the distance and eventually when they get down here they actually get deleted uh, so blue force present when when the first guy in the group is in the list then delete each unit in this array which is basically all 11 of them. So essentially when they get right down to the bottom here, they get deleted, okay? So as far as the guns are concerned, um, when you get into this area, when the player is in this list, the blue force present and the player is in the list, um, run this little script. You want number of uh, rounds they're gonna fire and run a script called artfire. Artfire is to here, have a look for the targets. Here you have your targets. Art target three, one, and two. Slightly change the distance so that they have to change the elevation of the gun. Just make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, so the script artfire, um, as shown in the editor, you can see there's um, we we were using eight 
eight rounds and it's executing the script artfire.sqf which is sitting in my scripts folder in the mission under the mission folder so it first checks to see if there's a server if if the script is running on the server if not it just exits the script um, it then checks to see how many rounds we need to fire and it pulls the variable out of the out of the script that was passed well the the uh, variable that was passed to the script in this case it's going to be eight uh, and then sets a, a variable a localized variable to uh, rounds fired to zero because we haven't found any yet um, it then uh, specifies under targets the three different targets that we can potentially fire at and then it starts this kind of loop here um, so basically it checks to see how many rounds have currently been fired against the number of rounds total number of rounds that we want it to fire um, and if the rounds fired are less in other words if this condition is true then it will do this bit so uh, it selects the current target which is uh, selects randomly from the targets which is target marker target one two and three and then the three artillery vehicles are called art a b and c do artillery fire get market position current target and then it uses this um, magazine or ammo magazine type it's going to fire one round and then it's going to sleep for three seconds and a random five so each one of these could sleep potentially for eight seconds or a minimum of three seconds so that makes them look a little bit out of sync so it's more interesting and then uh, at the end it just adds one to the rounds fired and then it loops back and it checks to see uh, do the two is the one number less than the other number if so do it again and then once that's completed this condition will eventually once you've fired eight rounds it'll be false and so it will exit the script so that's what artfire does okay then the next thing is um oh yes the pa system here i've got a an object public address poll called loudspeaker um, and then a little trigger. The trigger fires automatically, so it's set to true. There's no conditions, activation conditions or requirements. It's just set to true. It will run after two minutes. And it runs remote execs say 3 d so it's localized, and it plays a sound called PA. Um, I use a text to voice to record the PA system and then I put a filter on it, uh, echo delay, um, change the frequency to make it sound like a PA system and then put the uh, class name into the description.ext under CFG sounds. And so after two minutes you'll get the public address playing a little message which will hopefully irritate a lot of my friends when they play the game. So we'll get back into the mission. Let's wait for the mission to initialize. And that basically is it. So if there's any questions, whatever, please let me know. Subscribe, uh, all that stuff.